make you bold, make you brave. L E love forever, love forever, ever, ever. B read it backwards, read it forwards, read it backwards. I for your insides, for your outsides, for your insides. B make you brave, make you bold, make you brave. L E love forever, love forever, ever, ever. The Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody Lord told Noah there's gonna be a floody, floody Get those children out of the muddy, muddy children of the Lord So rise and shine and give God the glory, glory Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory Children of the Lord
everyone, I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Megan, ha have you seen my yo-yo? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, um, last time I saw your yo-yo, you had it at church. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh-oh. Uh Why uh-oh? My mom told me to leave my yo-yo in the car and not take it into church with me. I must have left it in my cubby at church. Mom's not gonna like this. Uh-oh, yeah. In today's Bible story, the Israelites took something with them into battle that they should have left in the tabernacle. Uh-oh, what was it? The Ark of God. Let me tell you what happened. God's people, the Israelites, did not get along with the Philistines. One day, the Israelites fought the Philistines and the Philistines won the battle. The Israelites were confused. Why did God let them lose? The Israelites made a plan. They would take the Ark of God to the battle. The Ark of God was a beautiful box from the tabernacle that reminded the people that God was with them. They thought the ark might help them win the battle. So Eli's sons, wicked men who sinned against God, carried the ark of God to the Israelites' camp. When the army of Israelites saw the ark, they shouted with joy. Surely they would win the battle now. But when the Israelites fought the Philistines, the Philistines won again. Many Israelites died, including Eli's two sons and the Philistines stole the Ark of God. The Philistines took the Ark of God to their temple. They put the Ark next to a statue of Dagon, a false god. The next morning, the Philistines found Dagon's statue face down in front of the Ark. They set the statue back up. The next day, the statue was face down again. This time, its head and hands were broken off. God punished the Philistines living in the city where the Ark of God was. God made them really sick, so the people in that city wanted to get rid of the Ark. They moved the Ark to another city, but everyone in that city got sick too. So the Philistines moved the Ark to a third city, but everyone in that city got sick as well. The Philistines were afraid. They didn't want God to punish them anymore, so they decided to give the ark back to the Israelites. The people hooked up two cows to a cart and put the ark on the cart. They also sent gifts to show they were sorry for taking the ark. The cows moved the ark down the road until the ark of God was back with the Israelites where it belonged. The Ark of God reminded the Israelites that God was with them. Many years later, God gave his people something even better to remind them that he was with them. God sent his son, Jesus. One of Jesus' names is Emmanuel, which means God with us. 